watching the SEC on ESPN in a fluid, changing world of college football. One thing remains the same. The 12th man at College Station, Texas. Today, New Mexico is in the house. And Christian Washington in the backfield. He takes the toss to the wide side of the field. Good run support off the edge. The operative word of the day. Amari Daniels now in the backfield out of Miami Central High School. Wigman back to pass, has time. Good move, picks up the first down. And he's going to lay down at the 34-yard line. Great mobility by Wigman to pick up 17 yards on the play. Yeah, that was From one Nebraska, 6-18 to go in the opening quarter. Wigman looking to pass again. Complete, what a move by Stewart. And he got ripped. They put it on the ground. The Aggies look like they've got it back. Smith was there. It was ripped loose by Dante Martin. Wigman into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! Noah Thomas. They went 85 yards in a little over three minutes, Lewis. You see New Mexico bringing pressure, bringing five. They have man-to-man -man across the board. Noah Thomas, you know, we love college football. <laughs> if I had a class ring, I'd wear mine. <laughs> Wide open, touchdown! Evan Stewart! to start the second quarter from Connor Wigman. You see it, no Apollo Gates. He doesn't have a safety in the middle of the field, and you see him jump outside on Evan Stewart, who just gives him a stick move outside and just takes it to the middle of the field. Look out for Texas A&M. Always tough in the eight SEC West. Pass complete for the first down at about the 38-yard line. Jeremiah Hickson. Making another catch. Boy, he's been targeted a bunch. You see right there, they move the pocket, run a little boot action. They fake the jet sweep. Nice move by Merritt. And on his own, Merritt scores a touchdown. Good block by Erickson. And the Lobos have struck on the 27-yard scamper. I mean, that's to get off the field. Little pressure coming. Couldn't get to Wigman in time, and he delivers a strike complete to Walker. Got rid of it just in time. And another Aggie first down. You know, they got a little bit of a zero blitz. You see Tavian Combs coming off the top of your screen. And Connor Wigman just stands. Play against the Miami Hurricanes were impressive, and they're open. Second and 11 coming up. Wigman looks back the other way, taking a shot. Touchdown, what a grab, Thomas! And a gritty for the city! What a catch! You see here, Noah Thomas this time says, Hey, Jamarius Lewis, you want to come in the game and play some of your teammate Noah Paula Gates? I'll give you some of this work, too. Wow. I'll run the same route. Mental health. Yeah, that's going to be a big component. Good part of Good argument there, Q. On the roll. Off the bounce. Smith. Nice Smith. Still on his feet inside the 30. Dancing down to the 24. The dynamic and imperious punt returner. And right now, but you just got to be smart with it, especially when you have a big run like that, a big punt return. Daniels with a big run, breaking loose down to the 10-yard line. Sprung loose by Max Wright with a great block. 28-yard gain. I mean, you just see the tight ends, Max Wright and Jake Johnson. You're going to see him come right out of your screen and just look at the nice move that he makes. And you see Johnson there on the edge. 
making the block that really springs him loose against Christian Ellis. Yeah, Moss is the deep back. Wigman double the snap. It didn't matter. Touchdown, Moss. And the Aggies continuing to roll offensively in one of the time-honored traditions here after a score, a touchdown. And their fans that this was going to be a different type of year and a different story. Not much success there on first and ten. Christian Washington. They get penetration. And they're starting to really disrupt the running game before it gets started. Hopkins has time now on the move. Throws it up for grabs and it's picked off. Interception for the Aggies. DeBerry. You're just going to see it right here. They're just playing the three deep. And you're going to see. As Dylan Hopkins rolls out, he's not finding any throwing windows. He tries to buy some time escaping out here, but he's starting to get pressured by Fidel Diggs. And he just throws an ill-advised ball. This puts it up. Quarterback makes a bad decision. Now you're back in business. Let's see if they take a shot here after the turnover. Wigman showing great mobility, picks up a first down. Let's go downstairs to Quint. Bobby Petrino hired as the offensive coordinator in January by Jimbo Fisher. it up. Thomas to the top of your screen at 6-6. Wigman looking into the end zone to Thomas, and he catches it again. Touchdown, Aggies. Had a little one on him. I mean, when you have Noah Thomas against the safety, and this time it's Christian Ellis, and he gets you squared up and has a two-way go on you like he has right there. Although, Christian Nelson, you see, he's trying to take inside leverage, but you see where his eyes were? They're in the running his football as hard as he can. He'll get another opportunity, but met in the backfield right after taking that handoff from Dylan Hopkins by Edrin Cooper. Correct that this year. Off to a good start in the first half. Washington, nowhere to go, swarmed, swallowed, engulfed. Cooper, the first one to get there for the Aggies defensively. I'm out. Cooper, Texas one of those A&M. players, a shortstop and outfielder. He hit home runs offensively, though, for the Aggies here so far. Completes another pass. This one is Stewart, still on his feet into Lobo territory at the 46, with 23 seconds to go. This is Randy Bond attempting one from 48 yards out. Low snap, and it's blocked. They snuffed it out. It goes out of bounds. Combs got there. And he blocked it with relative ease. Yeah, in a game that hasn't had a whole lot of highlights from New Mexico, Tavian Combs has to go third quarter. High snap for Hopkins, and he's brought down. A little backside pressure. And they get the sack. Josh DeBerry coming off the corner, Lewis. Yeah, I mean, look, there, now DJ Durkin is just starting to work on some things. You see Josh DeBerry just... Merritt in the backfield. He really sold it, though. Merritt couldn't sell the fake. There were three Aggies waiting for him. Edron Cooper leading the charge. Of the training camp. And his plays like that as to why he did. And 27 yards out to his wiki. Knocks this one through. To make it 35 to 10. And with a little over six minutes to go in the third quarter, the Lobos. <laughs> All game? Like that kind of interaction. Yeah, time to eat. Oh man, Moss tripped up by his shoelaces by Christian Ellis. Otherwise, he had a whole bunch of real estate open in front of him. He picked up 11 yards and a first down. So good for Larry Toy to stay in the game. Little play action. Wigman wide open. Smith with the catch. And his longest reception today takes the Yankees down to the 20-yard line, first down and 10. It's just a double move. A double move here on the safety oh, against Zach Morris, who's actually a corner. I mean, that's just that's there under. He completed the last six in a row before that third and goal. Wigman right back at it. Touchdown this time. They make the connection. Stewart.
Look, when you have guys like Bobby Petrino and you have guys like Jimbo Fisher who call plays as long as they have, when they find a matchup, they're just going to keep exploiting it. And they're wide receivers against the safeties, against the wolf position players on this football team. This time it happens to be Tavian Combs, who's their Lobo safety. When you play off coverage against four and five star wide receivers and you give them two way goes, and I understand I've ever had playing football. Nice. Caught that world champions. Thing. That's right. I still have that <laughs> ring. I still have that ring. <laughs> On the run, this is Owens. Nice cut inside, picks up the first down. Boy, Owens is an impressive running back. Hey. High school All American. This was the number. Him. If this you is how you've been, you build championship programs. You can keep them from leaving, too. That's right. That's right. To the sideline, complete. Nice catch by Thomas. Doing a little work after the catch to pick up the first down at about the 14 yard line. And I is healthy all year long. Noah, Evan Stewart, Moose. They can really compete it. with anybody. Oh, nice move by Johnson. Spins out of harm's way, completes the pass. And a touchdown for Moose. Leaving moose tracks all over that defense. Another one for the talented receiving core. My song in motion on second and ten. Nowhere to go on the handoff for Dorian Lewis. Met immediately. Blocked earlier from 48 yards out. This one coming from 39. And he knocks it through to make it 52 to 10. One team. This is going to be a fun team to watch all year. Pretty much what was expected tonight. Yeah. Came in a prohibitive favorite. And Wysong going to take it out of the end zone out to the. 19 yard line where it'll be first and 10 from there. 12th man again. Getting his reps and yes, getting his hits is. tonight, isn't he? That's what I'm saying. Sam Matthews, celebrate. I, I you deserve it. it. I love it. Transfer from Harding University. It matters, man. Yeah. It matters. Well, that's it. Jimbo Fisher and Texas AM winning their season opener. Convincingly, impressively, offensively, and defensively. As he has succeeded play calling to Bobby Petrino. And as they end up winning at 52 to 10. Don't forget, coming up next, it's Coastal Carolina.